Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. Rain Access Solutions. This is just a reload or a continuation of my previous review for Microtest Quartz Tester. Before I wasn't able to show all the uh, functions of this Microtest and uh, that's because it did not come with any manual. Now I have with me a generic watch. This is a word we're going to use for testing the full function of this um, Microtest. Before we proceed with full testing, I'm just going to show you, or we're just going to walk past these few functions here. So I'm going to introduce it to you. Here, as you can see, there's a level switch here. Uh, you, can, you have the letter D and M switch. That is for the um, uh, mechanical and for the magnetization also. Now, this thing here, I'm going to put my watch over the IC detector. We're going to know if the battery is okay without removing it from the watch. So as you can see, it's blinking and it's uh, in sequence, I mean in, in unison with the second hand there. Another function with microtest that we're going to test is the battery indicator or battery tester. As you can see, it has a meter on top and the uh, mechanism, mechanism for the battery is at the bottom. So, we're going to test for another function, which is called the winding function. What you do is that you set the lever in the middle to letter M, and there's an adjustment here on the side, which is the S and F, which means S is for slow and F is for fast. What this feature does is that it uh, forces your watch to rotate. I mean, it's hands. So, if there's any mechanical thing that got stuck inside the watch, it will be freed. So this is how uh, useful this function is for your watch. Now let's proceed to using the function for testing the watch battery. Okay, as you can see there's a meter on the top and the uh, uh, mechanism for battery tester at the bottom which has a positive and negative terminals. Now we will be needing a battery to test the battery tester function of microtest. So I'm going to use this uh, generic watch and I'm going to remove the battery using this uh, tool. Now removing the back cover is easy. You just need to find the small, um, yeah, there's a small ridge here at the back where you can prick it open and with this tool. Okay, now that I have removed the back cover, um let's see if you can remove the plastic that is holding up the battery so let's try if i what happens if i pull this um crown it should stop the watch from moving but it doesn't so i'm not sure why but i know that it has something to do with being a cheap watch so <laughs> this function is not properly working so it doesn't matter anyway. All we need to do is remove this plastic cover at the back so we can free the battery away. So we can use the battery for testing. So I'm going to use this plastic um, tweezer to twist my way and remove this plastic that is hinder I mean hindering the watch. Okay, so let's attempt and remove this battery. As you can see, this button type battery has a uh, negative and positive terminals. The back side is the positive and the other part at the bottom is the negative. So now let's test it. Now let's put the battery on the 
testing terminal. Then um, press it so that its side is resting against the positive terminal. Now you can see the meter will move. So that's just about it. Now we're going to use a multimeter to compare the result of its uh, the voltage value of this uh, button cell uh, versus the machine. So as you, as you can see here, it's uh, reading up to 1.33 volts, which means this battery is still good. Now let's set this aside and use the micro test tester and switch for the battery tester function by just turning it on and put the button cell on the terminals. Now let's measure the voltage from the micro test. There is more than one volt. It means it's somewhere one in 1.2 or 1.3. So it's still okay. And it's pretty accurate based on the reading with our, uh, our multimeter there. Now here's another function, a hidden function in this uh, tester. And it's called the uh, demagnetization. Now to use this demagnetization function, we also need to know if the watch or the thing that we're going to test for magnetism is magnetized. So we're going to use my compass or any compass that you have. For me, I actually bought this compass just for the purpose of testing if my items are magnetized or not. Okay, so here's a screwdriver. The screwdriver is magnetized clearly, as you can see. If I hover it on at the top of this uh, compass, the needle is moving, so it's affecting its um, the compass uh, function because it's magnetized. Now to uh, remove or demagnetize the uh, screwdriver, we're going to use the demagnetization function from the, uh, sorry, the magnetized function from this one. So you need to set the lever in the middle to M and place the tip or your screwdriver on top of the mechanic. So as you can see, I'm like uh, putting it down and then bringing it up slowly. So this is how you're going to demagnetize the uh, screwdriver. Now let's test it again. It should not be. Uh, it shouldn't be able to move the the uh, compass hand now. There, as you can see, it's not moving anymore. It means it's already been demagnetized by the uh, tester using its uh, demagnetization function. Now, to magnetize the uh, screwdriver again, just place it on the on this part of the tester while the tester is off, and just place it on top of it for a couple of seconds and now this screwdriver will be magnetized again as you can see the needle of the compass is moving again now let's try and demagnetize the screwdriver again so switch the uh, tester on and the middle switch should be at the M. Place it on top of the mechanic and bring it slowly up while doing that for three times or more, depending on the need. And uh, try it again. This should remove the magnetism from the screwdriver, as you can see. Okay, now let's put back the battery for this watch. It should be easy. Just put the button cell battery back. There you go. 
and put the plastic back on and put the cover back snap it there you go so it's okay now it's running again okay guys thank you for watching this video if you find this vlog useful please do subscribe and click the like button have a nice day everyone thank you for watching